What is up and welcome back to the channel. We are live here at the Toretto house and unfortunately the rain has started and we are back inside but have no fear the content is still going to be flowing whether it is rain or snowing outside. So that was a corny rhyme but now let's get into this video here. Um, today I wanted to kind of showcase some of my custom Fast and Furious cars. Uh, if you've been following the channel, which I'm sure all of you are, um, you may have noticed the Eclipse and the RX-7 with these crazy wheels and tires on them. I recently added Jesse's Jetta to the group, and I have a couple more that I wanted to do, but I thought I would kind of do more of a long format video here and just to kind of show this wheel and tire setup because I was getting some questions on like what wheels and tires these were because they are super cool and I am super addicted to them now and have just been swapping everything I can get my hands on with these wheels. So to get started here, the first one that I did was actually Dom's RX-7. Um, so you can see it's kind of like lace style. So the wheels in the movie were like very like multi-spoke, like 10 or 12 spoke. Um, so these were kind of the closest I could get. And then we got the Toyo tires, which is pretty cool because, let's see if you can see it right above the wheel well there, it actually says Toyo tires. So that is what I went for this one. And the next up was the Eclipse. So I might end up swapping out to maybe a little lighter color wheels, but these are some like gray, like dark gray six spokes. And these also have the Toyo tires. Did a little intercooler painting on this one as well. And this one here, Jesse's Jetta, I was super excited about. Uh, I just think this white casting with the white wheels just looks super cool. Ended up putting the Nitto tires and you can kind of see painted the roll cage in there as well. But, so that was just a quick overview and now let's get down to what we have on these cars. So these are Carlomo alloy 164 wheels and i picked these up from mod my ride so it comes with the four wheels obviously the wheels have ball bearings in them which is why they spin so cool and you can see they also have uh, calipers and brakes so the, the car does come with everything needed to um, install them it comes with the axles that just kind of glue together uh, the axles are a little bit wider um, are thicker than Hot Wheels, so some slight modifications will be required. Um, so these are very thin tires, so kind of not quite the stretched look, I would say, but they are very thin. Um, you can get upgraded tires, which make them one mil thicker. So as you can see here, these Carlomos are a 9.5 down in the corner, but they do sell the upgraded tires that take it up to a 10.5, which I thought, okay, that might be what I need, but they were still just not quite chunky enough um, for what I was looking for. So I ended up going with monoblock wheels. So he sells these tires and these are pretty thick and they also come with different tire lettering on. So you saw Jesse's Jetta had the Nitto, and then Brian's Eclipse and Dom's RX-7 had the Toyo tires. Um, so this set here has the Advan, and I also got a pack of just plain ones, just in case I wanted the uh, plain tires. So in my opinion, and just with my taste and how I like things, which everyone's different, I think this Carlomo wheels, and then with the monoblock tires, I think this is like the coolest setup and I am like super stoked on it. But enough yipping and yapping about that. And I'm sure you want to see actually how these tires spin. So these are crazy. So just barely flicking it there and they just roll forever. Um, so you can even roll it, roll it on the ground. It's cool the sound and stuff that they make, and I especially like it with the uh, monoblock wheels with the tire lettering. I think it looks really neat. So we'll get one here um, that you can maybe see. These wheels are a little lighter, but here is Jesse's Jetta. So this does roll like extremely nice. And 
And here, just for reference, we have Vince's Maxima. So this is from the latest Fast and Furious set. So just for a comparison, I mean, it's not, not even close. I mean, these just spin just for a second, and then they are done. So, and plus they don't have the like brake uh, caliper details, and these are alloy. So these are metal, metal wheels. Just super cool. If I could like sit here and just like spin these like all day. Here's another little close up look here at Dom's RX-7, which was the first one I did. Um, so all these cars are like tapped and screwed back together. And like I said, they roll just phenomenally. And I'm just so happy. Just so stoked with how these turned out. And here we go for a nice close up look here at all the cars. So let's start off here with Brian's Eclipse. So I did go with a little darker wheel here that is not exactly screen accurate, um, but I do like the wheel style. I think it looks very cool. It's just very hard to see unless you have like very bright, like direct light on it. So this car along with the RX-7, uh, they both have the Toyo tire logo on them. So I figured the Toyo tires would be very fitting. So I might end up down the road changing these wheels out to something a little lighter, um, but you have to let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, I think this definitely looks pretty cool. And up next here we have Dom's RX-7, which actually was the first one that I did on here. And I think it turned out super well. So I did just purchase one set of these wheels. And like I said, I had just the stock tires on and then I bought the upgraded tires from Carlomo. And then I ended up going with the model block. So this has been about like, like a month long process here where I've been buying rims and tires and trying to find the exact wheels I wanted to do because I was going to be wheel swapping a bunch of Fast and Furious cars and I really wanted to take the time and make sure that the wheels that I chose were ones that I really wanted and really liked and I'm glad I finally settled on a combination. And the last one here to showcase is Jesse's Jetta which has only appeared in the original Fast which was like the very first uh, premium set they released as well as in the diorama. So. This one is hard to get a hold of, and I ended up buying it loose on the secondary market, and it's still even loose was, you know, not a cheap car. So uh, I was definitely a little nervous, like drilling and customizing this one, but in the end, I am extremely happy with how it turned out. Uh, it's hard to see on here, but the brake calipers on here are even blue, which match the livery on the side. Uh, so everything just turned out like super good, and I think these wheels just look killer and the red roll cage just i don't know just all ties in so well and i'm just super happy like i said i really wanted to customize and add some really cool wheels and just have like an awesome like ultimate fast and furious set and i think i finally settled on a wheel and tire choice and so now it's just putting in the work to get all the cars get all the parts needed and swap all the wheels so there you have it. I just wanted to do a quick update video here because I have been posting some shorts and reels with these cars and these crazy wheel and tire combos. Uh, so I thought I would do just a, you know, a little longer video and fill you guys in on the details. So I have two more sets of wheels right now and I have one of the cars and the other one is on its way. So these wheels are going on two more cars um, that are super popular ones. So if you want to try to guess the next two cars I'm doing, uh, go ahead and drop a comment down below. I hope you enjoyed this little upload here and I will be sure to keep you guys up to date on the other wheel swaps that we have coming. But if you did enjoy the content today, please like, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you on the next episode. Peace.